My name is Brad Brewster. I'm a respiratory therapist here at Doctors Medical Center, and I have been doing this for about 20 years. I found out that I wanted to be an RT actually working in this emergency room. I started out as an ER tech. I worked here for about six months. I found out so I was a nurse assistant, a lot of respiratory therapist. And I saw that all the patients that, that, that have come into the emergency room and they have a severe bleeding issue like asthma, and you give them a medication, and they're always happy. They're always happy because it's one of those few things. A lot of medications take a little while to work, but medication we get takes almost no time in comparison, maybe 30 minutes, and the patients are breathing, and they're so much better, and they're happy, and they're smiling. And it just felt like a, a much more uplifting profession because I had all these smiley faces that I saw these respiratory therapists treating. And so I said, I want to do that. When I first started in the career, it was just very strategic. I go in, I, I get the task done a little more distant from the patient, and I go on to the next task. As I got to the work more season, I realized that making those connections with the patients is vital. And not just for the patient, it's for, for you personally, kind of uh, feels you, makes you feel a little more fulfilled. Patient gives me emotional support sometimes through my career and they don't even know it. So I went to Haiti and I spent 30 days in Haiti at the Gesquiel Field Hospital. And, you know, it's 100 degrees outside. It was certainly an austere environment. We set up, uh, set up tents, a, a surgical tent, an emergency room tent, a patient care, a critical care tent. And we had about 40 people running that whole hospital field and around the clock, 24 seven, taking care of patients, unfortunately, that have had injury from, from the earthquake. Going to Haiti is what really uh, cemented me into having appreciation for that connection with the patients that I brought back here to the hospital to realize that I can have that same connection there, I can have it here, and um, giving them, uh, the patients, a little bit of me, you know, doesn't hurt. And, and it also helps me uh, move forward. Uh, it helps me move through this difficult time.